So this tree here is commonly known as the cannonball tree. And this tree can be found Costa Rica to Brazil. And right now it is flowering, which is one of the greatest times to be able to see this tree because it has such a striking flower. Now, some people, when they look at this tree, think that there's a large vine on this tree, but no, this is actually all a part of this one amazing cannonball tree. Now, it's commonly believed that the cannonball tree got its name from its large fruits, which hopefully you can see behind me. They're very large and round, and when they fall, they make kind of a loud booming noise. That might be one of the reasons why it's called the cannonball tree. But I think one of the most interesting things about this tree is actually its flower. So it has this bright pink, bright yellow color to it, but it has a very strong odor. This flower has a lip, kind of like a platform here. It almost looks like a mouth. Well, that platform is providing its pollinator a place to sit. So when the bees come here, they're attracted by that very sweet smell, by the bright color. These flowers are right here at the end of these branches, so they're really easy to find. And then the bees have a nice place to sit. Now, for a long time, people struggled to be able to pollinate this plant by hand because when they would take these large grains of pollen and hand pollinate them to another plant, nothing would happen, nothing would happen, nothing would happen. Well, eventually they figured out this is actually fake pollen. These large yellow grains on this flower are actually a reward for the bees. A little thank you for coming and pollinating. The true pollen is actually up here. So as the bees are sitting on this pad, munching on that fake pollen, the true pollen is kind of bopping them on the back of their heads. And so then when they fly away, they spread that pollen to other flowers, which eventually turns in to those giant cannonball fruits.